Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card is winning. So whatever situation you've been going through, uh, maybe you've been feeling like time is running out, but it looks like uh, you, know, you are going to be victorious in that particular position or particular situation you are coming out a winner on coming out on top you are recovering from a difficult situation over here you're getting back your self-confidence it seems like that's what you're working on um you've got the two sons over here so you know you are focusing on yourself and focusing on recovery from this difficult situation that you went through you might still be going through some kind of depression as well and maybe this is the reason why you're trying to focus um on yourself and you know giving yourself you need to forgive yourself and you need to give be kind to yourself in order for you to heal and you know try not to isolate yourself and this is how you get over the depression but it looks like you are going undergoing some kind of uh, transformation you've got mercury over here so you're doing a lot of thinking and a lot of soul searching at this particular moment so in the past you faced a lot of difficulties uh, but a lot of enlightenment has come in as well for you so you know this was all sudden you've got this um lightning bolt coming in so you know you had a revelation coming in for you as well uh, but you've had to deal with a lot of uh, difficulties <coughs> excuse me a lot of restrictions because you've got the double satin over here so being very restricted very manipulated uh, but a lot of revelation came in for you and a lot of power came back into your hand so going into the future, there's some good news coming in for you uh, here, and you can see, you know, rising up above that situation, being free from, freed from that particular situation. It looks like you've been praying a lot for enlightenment as well. And then finally, you know, you are dealing with uh, somebody who was very jealous of you, and there was a lot of envy that was going on around you. Um, so now, you know, be careful about who you trust, and also, you know, be careful of people around you as well. So keep your, um, you know, sensitive information to yourself, because, you know, people... Uh, um, maybe people around you had hidden agendas um, and uh, you know they were not working for your best interests so it's important for you um, you know to keep things to yourself uh, so that you know you can progress and manifest without any en the energy of jealousy coming in and preventing that so those are the energies that are going on for those two weeks so I'm going to be using the Arcus Arcanium Tarot for the uh, main read. Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, so you've got the Ace of Cups over here. So this is brand new beginnings coming in for you. You're starting a new cycle in your life and you are letting go of that past. So this could be a new offer that's coming in and this seems to be something that's heaven sent. You can see that hand coming in out from the sky, out, out from God. And it looks like, you know, you've got that fish over there. So you're in control of your emotions, some new gift coming in for you. So a new relationship coming in for you, something really wonderful, something really brand new and a new cycle that is starting for you and a very positive cycle at that. And there's a lot of hope as well in that card. A lot of hope, a lot of healing. And you can see you've got two tens. So what you're going through now is that ending of that particular cycle. The world is the end of a very, very difficult cycle because uh, it is a card that is ruled by Saturn. So you've learned a lot of... Um, lessons and saturn has been you know it's the great teacher of the zodiac the saturn and it's a very restrictive planet as well so it brings puts in all these hurdles in your in your uh, path and um, this allows you to grow spiritually because at the end of the day we are here for spiritual growth and this is what this uh saturn does and so you've got the world over here so you are ending a difficult cycle this woman is surrounded by a, a snake so you were dealing with very very difficult energies very toxic energies deceptive energies poisonous energies and people who are very aggressive you've got that eagle you've got that lion over here even this bull looks really really angry so it looks like you were dealing with very very aggressive energies but that cycle is now coming to an end 
and you can see this woman's got the power back in her hand again so this is the thing that has allowed you to grow you've got that ten of uh, cups over here so you've ended a very difficult emotional cycle as well so you know whatever problems you had is now behind you and you are now being able to move through a new doorway it looks like you know you've come through all those emotional problems you've got that big C in the back over there but it looks like there's the ace of cups over here and this is represented by this new ace of cups that's coming in for you you can see there's that waterfall over there so this new ace of cups so no, somebody new is going to be bringing in something really wonderful for you and it's the end of those old emotional uh, problems so all those empty cups are now behind you and you will be moving in through a new doorway and starting something brand new you've got the judgment card of here so you made an uh, an effort or the universe actually asked you to make a decision to move forward or change your direction uh, so there was a choice that you had to make and you had to move on so it seems like you've laid the past to rest and you're moving on. So recently you've had a lot of, uh, you know, it looks like in the past three months, meeting a lot of new people, maybe even meeting people from your past that you have had uh, relationships with going back to the past and uh, maybe new offers have been coming on. Uh, so you've been socializing quite a bit, it seems, uh, in this recent past. Now, what you want is you want a brand new relationship to come in over here. You see, this is the Nine of Cups, and you want a wish to be fulfilled. So you have something on your mind that you want to achieve, and you want this brand new relationship to come in. And it looks like what you've been wishing for is starting to come through because you've got that Ace of Cups as well represented. So you've been looking, you've been focusing, and trying to manifest this Ace of Cups, and it looks like it is coming in for you and you can see there's that magician card over here manifesting you're trying to manifest this wish you're trying to make this wish come true and, and you know you you're very focused on it uh you're you've got that on your mind you're being very positive in your thinking and a lot of power coming into your hand and it looks like you know the universe is giving you that because it's got that ace of cups that you are trying to manifest so a lot of happiness will be coming in for you. You've got the sun coming in over here, and it looks like it's a brand new relationship that's going to bring, bring in a lot of joy. Now, it looks like it might be somebody that you met from the past because, you know, the sun card is also about childhood and meeting people from the past. So this relationship might be somebody that you've met just recently. Um, you've known them in the past. So you may have been reacquainted with them recently, and it looks like you might be starting a brand new relationship with them. And there's an end of that old difficult cycle that you went through, and you're going, you know, you're starting afresh, it seems, and a lot of joy and happiness coming in, a lot of growth as well coming in. So you've got that ace, eight of swords over here. So whatever you were dealing with in the past, you felt really, really uh, uh, restricted, very tied up, you know, as though. Um, you know, you couldn't move forward. Now, uh, some of the, uh, you know, thoughts and things that you have accumulated from the past are still restricting you at the moment, and it's time for you to make a clean break. You know how to get out of the situation. Um, you know, there's no need for you to sacrifice anything anymore. It's time for you to walk away and move on and leave it behind because whatever you're dealing with in the past is still holding you back a little bit. So you need to release that past in order for you to move forward. There was a lot of problems in that past relationship that you had. It seems like you were always on the defensive. You were always dealing with some kind of issue. And there were a lot of arguments and problems. And you were always having to defend yourself. And you're tired of doing that. So going into the future, you've got that five of uh, swords over here. The high, high priest, which is the hierophant. And you've got that four of uh, swords as well. So, the, you know, you might be dealing with some kind of legal issues from the past. Uh, maybe that relationship ended, had a legal ending of here. There was a lot of fighting and, uh, and problems going on. Uh, you can see you people, uh, you know, against each other here, a lot of verbal, maybe a lot of verbal abuse. Maybe you'll reach a stalemate. Uh, there was some kind of three-party situation you might have been dealing with in that previous relationship. And there might have been a legal ending to this particular relationship that you went through. You've got that high priest or the hierophant over here. So, uh, you know, having learnt a lot of communication... Um, having learnt a lot of lessons from that particular relationship. Now, you might have to get some legal advice to deal with this particular situation. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's resolved itself. It seems like you have communication with this person, uh, but it's, uh, you know, almost very, a lot of arguments and problems that you're still dealing with. Um, and, you know, this is a legal issue that you are trying to sort out at the moment. So you're going to have to get some good advice uh, on how to deal with this particular situation and you know consider all the advice that you get very very carefully the four of swords is about healing from that situation so you are still you know dealing with legalities or dealing with problems but this new offer is coming in as well uh from behind all of that 
So you are still very defensive because you are still dealing, you've still got your attention on dealing with this past relationship and all the problems, the legal problems or outcomes from it. Uh, but this new relationship offer is going to be coming in for, for you, despite the fact that you're going through all these legal problems. So it's going to be something that gets you, um, you know, you know, gets you out of any kind of depression, this new relationship offer that comes in and it allows you more freedom. There's a lot of birds in the background over there. So you are trying to manifest this new relationship and it looks like it's going to be coming in and it's going to bring in a lot of joy and happiness, but you're still having to deal with some kind of legal issues, uh, you know, that's keeping you tied up in that relationship. So maybe you're trying to get um, uh, a divorce from this person and you haven't quite, um, you know, gotten divorced managed to get divorced just yet and this new relationship offer is going to be coming in it seems like you know uh you you're going to have to make it seems like there's some kind of sacrifice that you're going to have to make um in order for you to get out of the situation you're going to have to make a compromise rather uh, in order for you to get out of the situation but it looks like things are not coming to an end and something brand new is going to be coming in with the world cup there is victory so you will get out of this toxic situation and you will be victorious in it so I'm going to just draw some cards from the uh, Archangel Power Tarot. And this is for the Oracle read. So the first card is the Four of Gabriel, which says, Time for celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself from a burdensome situation. So whatever this problem is, it looks like it's going to be a favorable outcome. Uh, if you're dealing with legal problems, it looks like it's going to be a favorable outcome and you're going to be able to release the burdens and problems of that situation. So you are moving on. And then you've got the star which says a dream comes true, believes in you, believe in yourself and the end of a difficult situation. So this is releasing yourself from burdens and situations. This is the end of a difficult situation with the star. And there's a choice that you have to make over here. So make choices from your heart, deeply emotional commitments, and the power of love. So once this uh, issue is sorted out, the legal matter is sorted out, uh, that new offer is going to be coming in for you. And it looks like maybe a new love of It's going to be a love offer that comes in and a more committed offer. And it's something that is being guided. You've got Archangel Raphael, um, you know, overseeing it. And it's also going to be a very healing relationship that comes in for you. So I think it looks like, you know, after you've dealt with all these problems that you've been going through and all the stress that has come with it, uh, the new relationship that comes in is going to be very healing and very productive. And it's going to be, you know, uh, the lovers is a um, major arcana card. So it is something that is divinely guided as well. So all the best. And uh, thank you for watching. And I hope that this, this uh, reading resonates with you. So like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has resonated. Uh, goodbye.